Hi, I'm Kat Cosley, up next on Deals. Tired of spending your weekends cleaning? All of these things take you maybe 15 to 30 minutes a week, and it will save you a ton of time on the weekend so that you're really free to do the things you love to do. Nationally known organizer Andrew Mellon is helping you reclaim your weekends so you can spend it doing the things you love most. My whole week is focused working, I am on cue, you're right. Getting things done, hopefully going to the gym. I really just want to enjoy my weekends with friends and family. Don't want to think about housework. What I'm looking for is anything to make my life easier. So is there something? Yes, there is. I've got all of this stuff. Do you want all of this? Yeah, do you want, I'll just grab all of this yeah, stuff. And all go for it. Okay. I'm professional organizer Andrew Mellon, and I've got a series of simple and easy tips and techniques for you that you can use to do your daily maintenance cleaning so that by the time the weekend rolls around, you've got plenty of free time to do the things that you really love. One of the things you want to do on a daily basis is do the dishes. Don't let them pile up in the sink, and if you have a dishwasher, go ahead and use it. It actually saves you money and time to wash dishes with the machine rather than by hand. Also, wipe down the counters. It'll only take a couple of minutes. Every day, make your bed. It'll take you one to three minutes. If you have kids or a spouse, go ahead and ask them to help you. And nobody likes to come home to a house with an unmade bed. On a daily basis, you wanna just put things away, put them back in their home. According to my organizational triangle, one home for everything, like with like, and something in, something out. Assigning everything a home and making sure it gets back in its home is gonna save you time and money on a daily basis. You don't need to open your mail every day, but you do need to put it in its home. So when it comes time to process the mail, you only have to go one place to find it. All of these things take you maybe 15 to 30 minutes a week, and it will save you a ton of time on the weekend so that you're really free to do the things you love to do. Mondays are all about the kitchen, so if you're gonna be preparing any dishes to last you throughout the week, get your slow cooker out and start the process going. Empty out the fridge, see if there's anything there that you can use that's almost on its way out. Likewise, the pantry. Every Tuesday, once a week, give yourself an extra 30 minutes and you can clean the tub, the toilet, the sinks, the counter, and the shower enclosure. Then you can get in the shower, rinse yourself off, and you're done for the week. Wednesdays are the longest day. It's hump day, so get prepared. It's gonna take you two to three hours to do the laundry, but it's the only day you have to do it, and if you do it while you're doing other things, like extra work that you brought home, if you're helping the kids with the homework, or just finishing up some chores around the house, it's the perfect way to do two tasks, not at the exact same time, but in a solid sequence so that you get everything done easily. Thursdays are all about paperwork, including the mail. This is the day of the week when you're going to process the mail and pay the bills and deal with anything else you have to do. You can know that on a weekly basis, if you open the mail and process it once a week, you're never going to be late with anything. I promise you, once a week is fine. Fridays, the focus is on living spaces, so you want to tidy up, dust, and vacuum. Because you've done your housework Monday through Friday a little bit every night, it means that now on the weekends you can relax and really spend your time doing the things you love to do. Thanks to Andrew's tips, now Lori can reclaim her weekends. Head over to livewellnetwork.com to see how you can too.